Talk to you, Johnny. Um, lovely sunny day here at Bradbury End. How's the mood in the camp? Uh, yeah, the mood's good. Um, took a lot of confidence off the away win at the weekend. Um, we've had a good week of preparation, good week of training, ready for um, the game this Saturday. Uh, two more days to build up, um, but we're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, talking of last Saturday in Wigan, it wasn't just the result that was impressive, it was the manner of the result and the manner of the performance. Yeah, it was. Uh, we showed great character, didn't we? Um, we went behind twice and, and to come back at a place like that, uh, they've got a great home record. So to go down twice and, and come back and still win the game just showed exactly what character we've got. Um, the strength and depth we now have, people coming off the bench and making an impact. It was a real team performance, so we were all buzzing. Yeah, you talk about their home form. Um, you've got, now got a run of five home games through February. And it's, it's a harsh one to say it's been poor at home because you've only lost once, but you, you have drawn a bit too many. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, we've not picked up some of the three points that we, that we should have done. Uh, earlier on, we were conceding goals and making mistakes late on in games, which kind of cost us. Um, but yeah, we, we haven't lost many at home, so it's, it would be harsh to say it was a poor home form. And it's just important now that we jump right back on it. We, like you said, we've got five home games out of seven this month. If we can get our home game back, our home, home form, sorry, back to where it was um, last year, then then we'll be right back in with a shout. And um, yeah, it's a key stage uh, this month, so we back ourselves at home and we're confident we can go and get results. It's a tough opener to those home games as well on Saturday with Blackpool, the visitors. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a tough game. Like uh, we experience that at their place. Um, they beat us well at their place and, and we had an off day, but there's no chance that will happen again. Um, we'll be more than up for it this weekend. And we'll, we'll be very confident going into that, that they're a good side, but we're more than capable of getting a win. I think I've spotted they've signed a couple of new players as well. It's sort of even as early as this morning. Um, does that make a difference to you in your preparation? Um, obviously, you like to know who you're playing against. So, so we have a look at that um, just to see what difference that will bring to their team. Um, but we've made some signings. Our three signings have settled right in. Um, I think you've seen in the last away game that all three of them had an impact on the game and uh, they seem to have gelled really quickly and suited us. So, so we were in a good place, um, so we won't be worried about them. How was, how was Craig on, on Saturday? Obviously, a new goalkeeper behind you and you, you need a good communication link between defence and goalkeeper. Yeah, Craig was great. Um, I thought he came in and did really well. Nothing he could do about either of the goals. And, um, I thought he did what he needed to do really well. He, he, he was assured and, and confident in his performance. And it's nice to have two keepers that are right at the top of their game and, and can come in at any time and play really well. Because obviously we had the situation last year where Tay ended up getting injured and we, and we struggled for keepers for the rest of the season. So to have that strength and the depth is going to be um, strength and depth is going to be real key going into the last run in here. And just looking at the game against Blackpool, I mean, what do you need to do to turn around that performance from October? Um, just play how we play. We, we went to their place and, and like I said, we had an off day. Uh, we didn't impose our game on them at all. And we let them dictate the tempo and, and play exactly how they wanted to. We gifted them some cheap goals as well, which never helps. Um, so we just need to go and play how we know we can play, um, impact our game on them. And um, they'll be worried about coming to us as well. And you would imagine after 40 odd days without a home game that the place is going to be bouncing come Saturday. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, we've had some great atmospheres there already and, and we need it this Saturday. We need that little extra bit of edge from the fans. I'm sure they'll be there in numbers um, and I'm sure they're looking forward to the running just as much as we are.